I bet when you think of witch trials, the name Mackinac Island doesn't come to mind. Well, today's family-friendly Mackinac Island, with its beautiful summer homes, shops, and restaurants, has a dark side to its past. In the 1700s and 1800s, when Fort Mackinac was still a military outpost, the island was teeming with soldiers, fur traders, and other worksmen. As was common during those times, brothels sprang up to provide services to the men of the island. When the town's leaders discovered what kind of business the women who worked at the brothels were involved in, they accused them of witchcraft. They said that they used their powers to entice the men of the town. That was surely the only explanation as to why the otherwise upstanding citizens would engage in such unbecoming behavior. The same method was used on Mackinac Island to determine if the women were truly witches, as was used in other parts of the United States at that time. The women were strapped to chairs and rocks were tied to their feet. They were then thrown into the water. If they sank, they were not guilty of witchcraft. If they floated, they were proven to be witches. Unfortunately, they lost their lives either way. On Mackinac Island, the women were thrown into what was fittingly called the Drowning Pool. It's located between Mission Point Resort and downtown. It has a deep 20-foot drop-off. Sadly, all seven women tried for witchcraft on the island and thrown into the pool, sank, and drowned. For more information on the Mackinac Island witches, Visit my sister channel, Legends, Lore, Hauntings, and more on YouTube. Thanks for watching. <laughs>